In this video, I am going to show you step by step how to draw an NFT for free using Photoshop. So let's not waste any more time and get started. The first thing that you have to do is to get yourself some kind of a drawing app so that you can draw your NFT. You can use any app that you like, for example, Procreate or Medibang Paint. But for this video, I am going to use Adobe Photoshop for drawing the NFT as I am using a laptop. But don't worry, the process is some of the same in all these apps, so you can do the same thing that I am doing in this video on your phone or tablet. And if you want to know how to make these NFT easily using Canva, then check this video out in which I show you how to do it. After you have downloaded the app, open it. Now, you will have to create a new project. To do so, click on the Create New icon right here, and then change the size of the project to 1000 by 1000 pixels or more. Make sure that the size is at least 1000 by 1000 pixels, as the quality of the image will be better than when you choose less than that. Also, choose the background of the project to be transparent. Now, click on Create, and your NFT project will be created. So, the next thing that you want to do is to get a reference image for drawing your NFT. If you have your own idea for the project, then make a rough sketch of the idea, take a picture of it, and then import it as a background to Photoshop so that you can make a really good drawing. But for this video, I am just going to use an image from Google as a reference. So, go to Google and search for any image you want. I am going to search for an image of a cat. Now, choose an image from all these and then download it. Now, go back to Photoshop and then drag the image that we just downloaded to Photoshop. Crop the image if you want it to fit perfectly on your screen. Like that, we have added a reference image to our project. The next step is to draw the body of this cat. To do that, there are many methods available in Photoshop. You can use the brush tool and start tracing the image. But the drawing created by using the brush tool is not always perfect. So, I am using the pen tool to trace the image. You can choose any tool according to your needs. Now, add a new layer by clicking on this icon right here. Now, rename it to the body of the NFT for recognizing it easily. Now, you can start tracing the image. Make sure that you have selected the correct layer before drawing as you might end up deleting all your drawings if you chose the wrong layer. Now click on the brush tool and then click on this icon right here and set the hardness of the brush to 50%. Now press the open and close bracket keys on your keyboard to increase or decrease the size of the brush. Make the size of the brush somewhat similar to the width of the outline of the image. You can also change the color of the brush if you want by clicking over here and picking the color. Now, you can start tracing the image using the brush tool. If you are using the pen tool like me, then click on the pen tool from here or use the shortcut key P. Now, start tracing the body of the image using the pen tool. If you don't know how to use the pen tool, then just go and search how to use the pen tool on YouTube and watch a couple of videos and you will get it. After tracing a line using the pen tool, right-click and select Stroke Path, and then choose Brush from this list, and hit OK. After that, hit the Backspace key to delete the path that we just created. Now, as you could see, an outline will be created along the path that we just made using the pen tool. Do this with the entire body of the image so that you can create a nice outline. Make sure that you have selected the right layer and right color while creating the outline. After you have finished tracing the body of the image, click on the plus icon right here to create a new layer. Rename it to the face of the image. Now, trace the face of the image using the pen tool and repeat the same steps that we did before to trace the body of the image. You can also view what your drawing looks like by hiding the reference image like this.
After you have finished drawing the face of the image, you can add special features like hats or ornaments to your NFT to make it unique. Just draw it using the brush tool after creating a new layer. Now, you can start coloring the NFT that you have just created. To do so, click on the layer on which you want to color. Then click on the paint bucket tool from here and change the color to whatever you want by clicking over here and then paint wherever you want. You can also remove small mistakes by using the eraser tool. Always make sure that you have selected the right layer before painting. Now, I am going to give some colors to this NFT. Now you can add a background to the NFT if you want. To do so, click on the plus icon to create a new layer, and then drag it all the way down here under the layers that you have created before. Now, choose the rectangle tool from here, and then draw a rectangle like this to make a background for the image. To change the color of the background image, click over here and then choose a color for the background and click OK. Like that, you have added a background to your NFT. Now, to export this NFT as a PNG or JPEG file, click on the File button on the top left corner of the page and click Save As. Now, type a name for your NFT and then choose the file type as either JPEG or PNG and then hit Save. Like that, you can draw an NFT for free on your PC or phone. And if you want to know how to mint this image as an NFT and sell it, then make sure to watch this video in which I show you how to do the same for free using OpenSea. So that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you want more of these videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I will see you soon. Bye.